Now in this session, we're going to look at linking two separate refer model file into our current model file to set up our project. Now in this exercise uh, file, in the directory that we have, uh, school architecture model and also the structural model, which we're going to link into our own model. Now from the insert uh, tab here, we're going to select link rabbit. And we're going to browse to our folder. I'll go to my project directory. And select the school model. Now you should always try to link the model by origin to origin. And then select open. Once I highlighted the file, now once you bring the model in, you should always try to pin it down to prevent it from accidentally being moved. So you highlight the model and then select this pin command. I'll type PN from the keyboard. You can see that there's a pin icon on this model. So you cannot even when you see the move uh, cursor in your at the, at the end of your mouse pointer, you cannot move these items. Now the next step, I'm going to link in the structural model. Again, I'm going to click on the link rabbit and then select the school structural model file. Again, I'm going to use origin to origin, select open. Now in ideal situation, they should line up perfectly. But sometimes uh, things are not set up that way. The consultant are not coordinated. Um, so they, are, they don't line up exactly. So in this instance, we have to line them up manually. So we're going to line up based on this grid uh, first. So we're going to go to the Modify tab. We're going to select the Align command. We're going to pick the grid from this architectural model, and which is grid line number one. And we're going to pick on the grid line number one on the structural model. And it asks us if we want to lock these two items together, we can pick on this and lock it up. But we want we don't want to lock too many things in the model at this time. So we're just going to hit modify again. And now we're going to look at locking the other grid or moving the, the model based on the other grid uh, horizontally. So the grid J from the architectural model and a grid J from the structural model. Again, we're going to select align. AL from the keyboard, pick the grid line from the architectural model, and then pick the grid line from the structural model. Now it looks like they are lined up together. Now once you establish that line up, the alignment, pick on the structural model, and then select the pin command to pin it down so you won't accidentally move it. 